answer to. Because if God is so merciful and so loving and so forgiving and all of that shit, how did he just allow for 400 years of slavery to just happen? And on top of that, now we're being discriminated against to this fucking day because of that. And the answer that I always get is that God was punishing black people for turning their backs on him. Yeah, mm mm-hmm, you heard that shit, right? So our ancestors, from the moment they were forced to come to this country, all the way until present day, have been struggling, dealing with discrimination, dealing with murder, dealing with all types of shit, because God was mad at them. And that, that's the God that I'm supposed to praise and worship. And, oh, my God, he's so merciful. Be fucking for real. This is also why I especially don't like black Christians, because y'all are the most delusional out of all of them. Apparently, God don't like us, so why the fuck are we the main ones in church? I don't understand that. Because of your sins. I... Baruch chapter 1. Verse 17 and it reads, For we have sinned before the Lord and disobeyed him and have now hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power to walk in his commandments that he gave us openly. Since the day the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt until this present day, we have been disobedient unto the Lord our power. And we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. Wherefore, the evils cleave unto us. And the curse was the Lord appointed by Moses, his servant, at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it is to see this day. Nevertheless, we have now hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power. According unto all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. But every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart to serve strange gods and to do evil in the sight of the Lord our power. Baruch chapter 2 verse 1 Therefore the Lord made good his word Which he pronounced against us And against our judges that judged us And against our judges that judged Israel And against our kings And against our princes And against the men of Israel and Judah To bring upon us great plagues such as never happened under the whole heaven as it came to pass in Jerusalem according to the things that were written in the law of Moses. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's of people here for a bear. Just land back in on down of the elder brother Manata Zakba. Because of your sins, I did this to you. You Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans, we are the biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And we transgress the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. And the Lord is punishing us for that. Still unto this day. We still up under these curses. Read Deuteronomy. We'll, we'll probably get in a little bit. Read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You can read from 1 all the way to 68, but 1 through 14 tells us if we do that, which is right, all these blessings will come upon us. But if we did that, which was wrong and disobeyed Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, then all these curses will come upon us and overtake us. In the worst things known to mankind, what happened to us? Poverty-stricken neighborhood. First one fire. 
last one higher. Hands up, getting shot, being followed around, being a suspect. You see, so-called black-on-black crime, Latino against Latino, Native American Indians against Native American Indians. This shebang. The, the, the whole shebang. You, you got Israelites talking about some. You mean to tell me our God got us going through this, all this violence? Yeah. 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 We did it. So we messed up. See, that's what that's the thing about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and American that they, they don't confess their faults. They walk around like they ain't did nothing wrong. Like they innocent. Like they walk around all perfect. Hell, we went off and we still go off. That's why we that's why we must repent. I want to get a quick precept. I want to get a quick precept. Let's just get this right quick. And then I'm, I'm going to come right back to that. We being judged, Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. We're being judged by the God of the Bible. I want to get this right quick. Just something quick. Just throwing something out there. Just something quick. Ezekiel chapter 18. And the thing about it, you're going to serve Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, whether you like it or not. We're going to serve the God of the Bible, Bible whether we like it or not. Okay? Let's get this Ezekiel 18. Matter of fact, let's start up some. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse um, 25. Yet ye say the way of the Lord is not equal. That's what that girl was going into. Here now, O house of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? So the Lord is fair. The Lord's ways are equal. They're perfect. It, it actually helps us how to live. Teaches us how to live. Look, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, gave us dietary laws on what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat. What's good for our bodies and what harms our bodies. Who to serve, who not to serve. What customs to practice, what customs not to practice, all that is written up in the Bible. But Israel walking around like they ain't did nothing wrong. Tell us on the ways of the Lord are not equal. Here now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? You see, when a righteous man and woman turn him away from his righteousness and commit iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness, and dieth in them, Right? For his iniquity that he or she have done, shall he die? Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he have committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. So we do what is commanded of us, we live. We commit wicked acts. Guess what? We die. The wages of sin is death. Don't, don't blame it on the Lord. Blame it on yourself. You catching hell, blame it on yourself. I catch hell, I blame it on myself. I'm going through what I'm going through because of what I did. No, no accountability. That's what it is. No accountability, man. You see? Again, when, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive because he considered and turned away from all his transgressions. Meaning he repented, he turned back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful for all his wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings, right? That he hath committed, he shall surely live and shall not die. Yet the house of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Edomachinis, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways. Save the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, repent. 
The Lord got his men on the highways and byways doing sit down videos each and every day telling you Israelites to repent, turn back, sorry for remorse, for regretful, for all your wrongful thoughts, sayings and doings. Take accountability. Confess your faults to your how about Shemel Shah, Lord, we messed up. Tell the Lord you messed up. You're sorry. Ask for forgiveness. Turn from your weakness and fight that good fight of faith. Because the Lord is judging each and every last one of us according to our ways, according to how we, we conduct ourselves, right? Everyone according to his ways, save the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh, shall repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart, a new mind. And a new spirit can't be thinking the way that we used to think, can't be doing the things, the wicked things that we used to do, the wicked thoughts and, and, and wicked acts that we used to perform. We can't do that anymore and still think that we're going to have a chance of being delivered. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Which once again consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I want to I bring out a little bit more in that Baruch. Let's go back to Baruch, the first chapter. And you, you heard that lady. No, no accountability whatsoever. Let's go, let's go back here. No accountability whatsoever. Let's play that video again. Because uh, the only thing Israel do is sit back and complain all damn day and don't never take accountability of what they've been doing wrong. You see, still celebrating Christmas, still celebrating Thanksgiving, still worshiping all these different pagan customs. These AKA and these pagan gods up on earth still committing adultery. Can't forget that if I ain't said it already. Still doing drugs, being whores and thoughts, gang banging. You you name it, man. You see, well, performing witchcraft. And then as soon as the Lord judging for that wickedness, and then well, he ain't right. He ain't right. He ain't. Right. You ain't right. Let's play a little bit more of this video right quick. so forgiving and all of that shit how did he just allow for 400 years of slavery to just happen and on top of that now we're being discriminated against to this fucking day because of that and the answer that i always get is that god was punishing black people for turning their backs on him yeah mm -hmm, you heard that shit right so our ancestors from the moment they were forced to come to this country all the way until present day have been struggling dealing with discrimination dealing with murder dealing with all types of shit Salakia. So yeah the hebrew israelites are dealing with all that because we went the hell off so that's the thing that the pastors in these churches these plantation christian churches are not telling you we're being punished for what we did, okay? And that's exactly what I've been reading. The only thing Israel can do is just complain, complain, complain. No, look, look, never trying to change. Never trying to change. Never taking accountability for their wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings. Just, just trying to blame it all on the Lord. The Lord told us if we do that which is right, you know what I'm saying, we will be all good. But if we went off, we'll have to pay for it. So now we're paying for it, okay? Repent. Let's play some more. Because God was mad at them. And that that's the God that I'm supposed to praise and worship. And oh my God, he's so merciful. Be fucking for real. This is also why I especially don't like black Christians. Because y'all are the... And I, I want to get a scripture too. We'll, we'll go back to that. Bro, I want to get a scripture right quick. We do got a merciful power. If you if you Israelites only knew, you look, you don't even know the half, man. We do got a merciful power. You don't know the half, Israel. You don't know the half, Ezra, chapter nine. You you have no clue how merciful our power is. Ezra chapter nine, verse thirteen. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds, everything is happening to us because of our evil deeds, our wickedness, and for our great trespass. We started worshiping idols and pagan gods and customs, started eating abominable foods. All of the above, we committed adultery. 
You see, did drugs, soul drugs, you just name it, man. Through all these different time periods, man. They did the most, man. All right? And for our great trespass, seeing that seeing that thou, our power, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. The Lord, this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. This is a humbling scripture right here. The Lord actually punished us less than what our iniquities deserve, man. The Lord could have totally did away with us, man, if he wanted to. And then we got this word. The Lord has given us this word. We got we got help now. We haven't been given the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. The Lord has put his spirit on us to repent and turn back the whole for lack. And instead of doing all that damn complaining, you know I'm saying, work on yourself. You see, get your house in order because the Lord is on his way. You ain't seen hell yet. You're doing all this complaining, so forth and so on, and ain't taking no accountability of your wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doing. You think you're going through something now. You ain't seen nothing. Wait till Jacob's trouble really pop off. Wait till the hour of temptation, martial law. Wait till this devil really come in like a flood, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. You ain't seen nothing yet. Thank the Lord for everything. Seeing that thou, our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such deliverance as this through this word, through the comforter, man. Receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. But Israel ain't trying to hear that. The average Negro Latino and Abraham ain't trying to hear that. They ain't trying to take heed to the word. It's more important things than the word to them, right? It's more important things on the face of the earth to them than the word, right? Only thing they're going to do is keep complaining till the missiles come, right? Let's play this a little bit again. Let's play this last little bit again. I always want an answer to because if God is so merciful and so loving and so forgiving and all of that shit, how did he just allow for 400 years of slavery to just happen? And on top of that, now we're being discriminated against to this fucking day because of that. And the answer that because of what we've been doing. We've been going to hell off for the longest, man. All right? No, no accountability whatsoever. All right? And you're and you, and you going to keep going through what you're going through. At least you repent. And once you repent, you're still going to go through some things. You see? And like it says in the scripture, I'm matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Hold on right quick. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 20, and it reads, We acknowledge, O Lord, Yahweh, through its only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our wickedness. Okay? We got to take accountability of what we've been doing wrong. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers. For we have sinned against thee. But then Jake still walk around like they ain't did nothing. Jake still walk around like they ain't did nothing, making all these videos like they innocent. Whoever perished innocent, all right? Yeah, we getting our asses handed to us left and right. <coughs> right to left, up, downs, um, round and round, you, you name it. Because of what we did, you see? Because of our, because, because of your sins, I did this to you. You see, that's exactly what we're reading. Jeremiah 14 and 20. We acknowledge, O Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they really call God and Jesus, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, the sins of our fathers, because we are our forefathers, right? And our four mothers, right? For we have sinned against thee. So now the evils, meaning these bad times, cleave unto Israel. You see? Still to this day. Micah chapter 7 verse 9. I will bear the indignation, meaning righteous anger. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You see? When you bear something, you carry it. You see? I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until you plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light 
and I shall behold his righteousness. We're just going to have to bear the indignation of the Lord. We sin against him. And so the Lord plead our cause, Lord willing. It, look, look it, it is what it is. So all that complaining, what is all that complaining going to get you nothing? All that complaining ain't going to get you nothing. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your No, it's our fault. All right? We went the hell off. That's why the scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will pardon him and, and forgive him Lord's will. You see? But all that complaining ain't going to get you nowhere. And I want to I go back to Baruch right quick and then I'm going to end it. We sin. Let's get that Baruch again. Baruch chapter 1, verse 17. I'm going to wrap it up after this. I'm going to play that video one more time and then I'm going to wrap it up. It, no accountability. Israel, we got to take accountability for what we've been doing wrong and ask for forgiveness. Turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful. The Lord says, seek him 10 times more. So be in return. That's Baruch 4 and um, 28, I'm thinking. So be in return, seek him 10 times more. All right. So this is Baruch chapter one, verse 17. For we have sinned before the Lord and disobeyed him and have not hearkened in the Lord sent forth men to teach us his word and have not hearkened into the voice of the Lord, our power, who's the voice of the Lord, the prophets, right? To walk in his command. And these, and these, these, um, Nick Rose, Latins and Native Americans, they seen the videos, man. Pretty much everybody knows about the Hebrew Israelites. And pretty much everybody knows about the men standing out there on the highways and byways preaching this blessed word. And they still ain't trying to listen. It's just to walk in the commandments that he gave us openly by way of Moses. Since the day that the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt until this present day, 2023, man, July. We have been disobedient unto the Lord our power, and we have been negligent in hearing his voice. Wherefore, the evils, meaning the bad times and curses, right? Cleave unto us, man, and they ain't going nowhere. And the curse, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse 15 on down to 68, right? Which the Lord appointed by Moses' his servant at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey. Like as it is to see this day. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power, meaning the prophets, according unto all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. But every man and woman followed the imagination of their own wicked or our own wicked mind, sort of leaning into our own understanding. We thought we knew what was good for us, right? We 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 thought we thought our stuff didn't stink, right? To serve strange gods, sort of serving idols and things of that nature, the gods of the heathens, and to and practice their pagan customs, eating abominable foods and all that, right? To do evil in the sight of the Lord, our power. Baruch chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore, the Lord have made good his word. The Lord said, Look, if we act accordingly, blessings. If we transgress, Curses. He made good his word. That's how we know who the Hebrew Israelites are, right? Which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judged Israel. Everybody went into captivity, right? And against our kings, our kings, and against our princes, and against the men of Israel and Judah. You see, all 12 tribes went into captivity to bring upon us great plagues. Such as never happened under the whole heaven. Remember, the Atlantic slave trade, post-slavery, all the above, up until this day, right? This ain't never happened to any other nation. That's how we know who the biblical Hebrew Israelites are, right? That's how we know, right? Because of the curses, because of the plagues that came upon us, even until this day, right? Such as never happened under the whole heaven. As it came to pass in Jerusalem. According to the things that were written in the law of Moses, man. So until that, so, so until this very day, the evils, meaning these curses, cleave unto us, man. So we must repent. The hell with all that complaining. 
God, why you do this? God, why you know? No, it's our fault. All right. Because the Lord can do whatever the hell he wants to. Who are we? Who are we to ashes and dirt? Who are we to question the creator of the heavens and the earth? Who, who are we to question our creator? You see? The Father's spirits and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Who the hell are we, man? Who the hell is this woman to question, you know what I'm saying, the, the almighty man? But but look, this curse is still on your ass. You doing all the complaining, them curses are still on your ass, and they're gonna stay on you. Until the Lord come. You Israelite men, women, and children, you better repent according to the Bible, man. At least you die, man. We ain't seen bad yet. Because of your sins, I did this to you. Shalom.